Well, good morning everyone on this very windy day in the UK, um, in just beginning of July. Welcome to the first video of Martina's garden. Um, I hope you'll find this interesting. It's just something I've started to create while we've been down in um, lockdown and uh, I, I, it just gives me something I enjoy doing. It, it's relaxing after work, etc. So I hope you'll start to find some of the videos I've put on are interesting. I'm just going to start with some basics today around actually container growing, etc. So we'll show you a few shots of what I've been doing. Okay, so some of the key things you need. Yeah, small pots are very versatile, not just for your flowers, but actually for growing vegging. One of the key things to remember though, is make sure your pots, your drill holes, that's really essential, your drainage holes. Yeah, really essential. Also, make sure you've got a good quality, multi-purpose compost, okay? Yeah, again, really key. Now when you're sowing seeds, some of the key things you can utilise are some of these key measuring dibbers, okay? You can get these very cheap at the supermarkets, usually around a pound. These are great for larger seeds as well. But also for the smaller seeds, something like white Lisbon spring onions, I like to use a little stick, my little dibber, and I, I use some tape to actually basically get the measurement right. So this is uh, half an inch. So I would go in at that level. And it's really good for us at a marker. Very versatile, very cheap things you can start to utilize. So today we're gonna show you just some clips of things I've been growing currently in the garden. And in future videos, we'll start to actually show you how things are developing, but also sowing new things throughout the actual seasons. Okay, so one of the things we've started to grow this year and to experiment with is leeks in buckets. And as you'll see, these are coming on really nice now during the summer. And one of the key things we've done to actually protect the leeks when they've been actually started from seeds is utilising these plastic bottles. These are just normal two litre bottle lemonade bottles. We've cut them and used them as a bit of a frame to protect the young leeks. But also, as we get into further into season and the leaves and that develop, we'll actually also put some card in there to actually enable the leeks to blanch as well. We'll be doing that. So it's quite versatile. And especially in the UK at the moment, we've been having some really hot weather, some really wet weather, and today some really windy weather. This really does protect them. So it's a really good idea if you want to utilize that. Okay, so this is Turnip Milan. These have um, been in for quite a few weeks now. Um, they're developing lovely within the pot. Um, I've also done a second sowing um, two weeks ago and I'll be showing you those how they're developing in the next actual video. But turnips are very versatile, very easy to grow within containers and give you a regular supply of turnips if you actually sow into different pots every two to three weeks. Really versatile, easy to grow. Okay, this is some of the spring onion white Lisbons that I sowed around five weeks ago. These are actually really developing now. We've had quite a lot of sun. We've had quite a lot of rain lately. You know, your spring onions really do like a lot of watering and these are growing really well at the moment. Again, only slightly battered by the winds today. They're um, very hardy um, and they're easy to grow. And, it, and they're great for actually through the season with your salads, etc really versatile again something that you can grow every two to three weeks carry on so you've got an endless supply through the summer months really good and when you are sowing them if you do get some that are quite close together you know thin them out but the actual thinnings can actually still be used as well in your salads so very good um very versatile etc Okay, so these are some potatoes that I put in around five weeks ago. They're really coming on well, and if you've never grown potatoes before, 
Um, one of the things I would say for certainly in containers and in gardens um, and patios etc it's really interesting to see the foliage develop on potato plants and these actually come out with a little white flower um, so probably in around another five to six weeks these will start to develop their flower heads etc really good one of the things I would say for containers is these are in a very small container um, this has got two potatoes in um, next year I'll probably be putting one potato seed potato in this size um, one of the things I've been doing is actually starting to grow potatoes in 35 litre containers and with 35 litres I'd recommend around three potatoes to two potatoes seed potatoes in those um, very versatile one of the things I would say for certainly for in the garden and on patios is if you consider using two shopping bags two carrier bags from the supermarkets make sure you put holes in those and actually fill those with the soil and put them in your bucket one of the things you can do that's really good is as you start to get the flowers developing and you're thinking about having a look to see how the potatoes are doing and whether you want to pick them by actually pulling out the bags you keeping the plant together you can fold it down slightly to have a look at what's in there and if you want to you're not really disturbing the plant if you want to put it back in so it's really good for keeping that root ball together etc really good and really useful and again potatoes are something that's very easy to grow again in a later video as we go through the seasons i'll be discussing around chitting your potatoes etc but potatoes are very interesting and something enjoyable to see how it grows see what you get from your potatoes it's all about enjoying your gardening and again this is some potatoes these are pink hair these have been in 10 weeks now in their containers and they've been doing really well um again They've got to around two foot high with their foliage and as you can see they've started to develop the flowers. So these are around 10 weeks. So we've got a good few weeks left to go um, and then we'll start to have a look to see how they've developed. But these are at 10 weeks and they're around just over two foot high. So the runner beans, runner beans in one of our raised beds. As you can see they've got quite a lot of flowers on now. Um, we have been trailing them on some trellis as well. You might just be able to see that trellis in at the background. We've got some trellis in at the side as well. These are really doing well, but again, with runner beans, you do need to give them a heavy watering. They really are developing lovely now. And like I say, again, it is quite windy today, but these are very hardy now. These are, these are getting ready to start growing the beans. Um, and shortly, we'll be picking our first crop. And in another video, Let's have a look at that.